Hi readers, Mrs. Freeland here. Hey, at the end of this unit, your teacher might have you read a book all the way through to the class and see how smooth you can be at reading it. So that's what we're going to really think about today is can you read a story all the way through really smoothly with lots of expression and making voices come alive as you read? So boys and girls, I'm going to read a little bit of this Creatures at Night to you. And I want you to notice how I'm reading from page to page. I'm going to sm sound smooth because I've already practiced it and I fixed up all my clunks. All those little words that gave me a little bump in my reading that I didn't understand, I've got them all fixed. So now I'm going to really focus on my voice as I'm reading. I might like get softer. I might get louder. I might read slower. I might read really fast. I might use a sad voice or I might use an excited voice. Here we go. The sky is getting dark. It's evening now, and it will soon be nighttime. A dog comes in to eat supper, then it goes to sleep. The wren flies into his nest in the big tree, and it goes to sleep. As the dog and the wren go to sleep, the great orange howl and many other animals are just waking up. The owl opens its eyes and looks around in the dark. Night is the best time for owls to hunt. So boys and girls, did I have a word that gave me a bump or a clunk? No, because I've already fixed those up in the story. I'm very smooth. I changed my voice for like when the animals were going to sleep, I sounded tired. And when the owl was waking up, I made it sound more excited. So boys and girls, I'm not going to read the rest of the book to you because you've already heard it. But I want you today to read through your story, pick a book that you really like, and practice how your voice sounds. Make sure you know all the words. Make sure you sound smooth. Make sure maybe you change if it's loud or soft, fast or slow. Maybe you sound excited. Maybe you make it sound scary. All right, boys and girls, have fun with your voice today. And now that you're confident of all the words, you can really have some fun in the way you make it sound. Okay, good luck with your reading today.